This video is sponsored by me, specifically my Patreon. I've finished my William Hart Null review marathon and patrons can get instant access to the feature length finale while the video awaits its final checks on YouTube for the public. Becoming a patron massively helps to support the channel and the link is in the description. Nothing in the world can stop me now! Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Tardis and welcome to another Doctor Who animated reconstruction steelbook unboxing video and as we hurtle towards the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who, we were worried for the longest time that there would be no more animated reconstructions of classic Doctor Who stories, specifically the black and white ones. And Theo has decided to join in the unboxing as well. Theo, what are you doing? After the release of The Abominable Snowmen last year, we thought that there would be no more animated reconstructions because goodness knows where the funding is going to come from. But now it seems that we're going to be having a new wave of animated reconstructions and I've got the first one here. We've got The Underwater Menace, which is a season 4 1967 story starring Patrick Troughton, Fraser Hines, Michael Craze and Annika Wills. Theo is clearly so excited for this unboxing that we cannot wait, so let's just open this thing up. Come on Theo. I ordered this from HMV, so let's take this sticker off real quick. And there we go, Doctor Who The Underwater Menace, a two-disc set here. And just immediately, this looks like a hollow cover. It doesn't quite feel real, but I mean that in a really cool way. This looks great. So on the back here, the Doctor and his friends find themselves in the lost city of Atlantis, where the crazed Professor Zaroff has convinced the people of Atlantis that he can raise their sunken city from beneath the sea. However, the Doctor discovers a terrible secret behind Zaroff's plan, a secret that could destroy all life on Earth. As the countdown commences to the end of the world, can the Doctor defeat the underwater menace? The original 1967 master recordings of all bar episodes 2 and 3 of the underwater menace were lost, soon after the program's original transmission. However, audio-only recordings of the missing two episodes have survived and have been used here to create a brand new, fully animated presentation of this lost classic. So, this set includes episodes 1 to 4 animated in black and white, 1 to 4 animated in colour, the surviving original episodes 2 and 3, a photographic telesnap reconstruction of episodes 2 and 4, a making of, the original audio commentaries. So, this has actually had a home media release before, The Underwater Menace. There was a DVD release a couple of years ago. I don't know too much about that. Apparently the people who put together the release wanted to add more features to it, wanted to make it a more substantial telesnap reconstruction, but the BBC were like, no, just do whatever you want. Uh, I recommend Josh Snares' video breaking down the situation and what happened with that home media release. Australian censored scenes, The Man from Midditz, Fraser Hines' introduction, BBC South Today report, BBC Radio Solent piece, photo gallery, an animation gallery, and a PDF material. Awesome, let's get this thing opened up. Because some people just like to buy these things and then never remove them from their packaging, whereas I intend to watch and use this. So let's put this cardboard to one side, and then we'll also take off this cardboard sleeve and take a look at the back of the box. So there's an ominous fish person just uh, skulking out in the background there, hiding amongst the seaweed. We have the spine there, BBC Doctor Who The Underwater Menace, and if you open the steel book up, you can see that it is essentially a two-page spread. You can see here as well, for these uh, Steelbook releases, they are going with a pretty consistent trend of having the TARDIS featured on the front. And then on the back, you've got something ominously watching on from nearby. These were the two previous releases before the Underwater Menace. You've got Galaxy 4 and the Abominable Snowmen. The TARDIS is way less pronounced. It's way less dominant in the frame as the previous releases, but it still looks really, really cool. And of course, it just sort of sells the idea of the vastness of the ocean. So thematically, it works quite well. So what we'll do is that we'll look inside the steelbook as well. We'll remove the booklet and the discs as well so we can see if there's any uh, artwork on the back. These discs do not seem to want to leave the case. Come on, here we go. Yep. So we've got the TARDIS again. Uh, I've not watched The Underwater Menace, so I have no idea if this is like a homage to a particular scene or not. Still looks pretty cool, but seems pretty bare bones. 
And you've got the discs here, that's disc 2, which is episodes 1 to 4 uh, in colour with some bonus features. And disc 1 here is the black and white animated one and the original episodes 2 and 3. In the booklet here, we've got some production notes. I always enjoy giving these a good read. I'm not going to dive too deeply into this story or its animated reconstruction in this video because, well, if you've known from my previous Hartnell Marathon, uh, you'll probably know that a Troughton Marathon is not too far away. So I don't want to be repeating myself too much. And The Underwater Menace is one of the first Troughton stories, or at least it's in his first season. I think it's maybe his third or fourth serial overall. As you can see here as well, we've got the credits here. The original was directed by Julia Smith, who also directed the episodes The Smugglers. She was also one of the creators of EastEnders, so she gave us Doctor Who Fish People, and also one of the most enduring TV programs in this country. It's a shame that only two episodes of her work survive, the two episodes of The Underwater Menace that are here, which is kind of unfortunate. The Smugglers is a really good story that I've recently reviewed for the Hartnell Marathon, and I wish that we could see those surviving clips. So, A Fishy Tale, The Making of the Underwater Menace, there are some uh, audio commentaries, including Michael Troughton, who's one of Patrick Troughton's children, episode reconstructions, there's a VHS introduction from Fraser Hines that was done in 1998. I enjoy watching these. I have no nostalgia for VHS Doctor Who, but I kind of get second-hand nostalgia from seeing, in particular, the Ian Chesterton uh, intros that were done for the Crusade. There's also the ROM content as well, which I can actually access because I finally got a Blu-ray player that works on my laptop that is able to access the ROM content. I wasn't able to do that for a while. So yeah, that's the Underwater Menace. It seems like not too much to really talk about there. The discs are just a little bit basic. This is the artwork that is on the standard edition Blu-ray here, so you've got all of the companions tied up. And like I said, I won't go into detail about the animated reconstruction because I'll be doing something like that quite near in the future. But yeah, that's kind of it. There's not really too much uh, to talk about there. The artwork looks great as usual. And I'm glad that for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary, we were able to get another animated reconstruction. I hope that there are more in the pipeline in the future. At time of recording this video, it's mid-November 2023. We don't have any announcements or we've got a couple of rumors and speculation that the next animated reconstruction will be the Celestial Toy Maker, but of course nothing official at this time. So uh, watch this space. Let's see what gets announced in the near future. But for now, we've got the Underwater Menace. We've got another part of Doctor Who's season four completed. We've actually got a nearly full and finished season four of Doctor Who. We just need the Smugglers and the Highlanders. I think it's just those two. And then we've got Hartnell's final season and Troughton's first one complete. That's a collection box that I'd love to see. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the Underwater Menace. Did you get the Steelbook version or did you get the standard edition or are you just ignoring it completely? If you did want to save money, but you still wanted to watch the animated reconstructions in the UK, you can watch the surviving episodes on BritBox or on the BBC iPlayer as part of the Hooniverse, and you can just get the individual two animated episodes and rent them off of Amazon or other digital marketplaces like iTunes. So whatever works for you, but for me, I've got the limited edition steelbook here from HMV. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button, it really, really helps me out. So subscribe for more Doctor Who unboxing videos, and I'll see you folks next time.